Hey guys, good afternoon, Lacey Lee Elliott here. Today I am going to be taking the Ford Explorer out to the gun range. Now I shared with you a couple of weeks ago that I'm going to be getting my PAL, which is my possession and acquisition license to own and operate a firearm here in Canada. And today is, well, the beginning of my journey. If I didn't have Freya, my 6,000 pound travel trailer, then a vehicle like this 2021 Ford Explorer would be the ideal vehicle for me and Jasper. Now it is a mid-size three row SUV that seats seven people. Obviously we don't need all the room or the seating, but because we do love to go on adventures, a vehicle like this Explorer allows plenty of space for bikes, camping equipment, skis, and today, guns and a couple of friends. Now I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I was going to get my PAL. This is the possession and acquisition license that you need here in Canada to legally own and purchase both ammunition and firearms. I can confidently say that this is one area that I don't want to do this on my own. I have a couple of friends who have a lot more knowledge and a lot more experience. I thought this would be a great opportunity to take the Explorer out for a test drive and share my journey with you guys. I'm gonna pick up Andy and Richard today and document the entire process, as well as give you guys as much information as I possibly can about my experience and what you need to know if this is something that you're considering. I'm gonna be leaving Jasper behind today, but while I go pick up Andy and Richard, I'll tell you guys more about this 2021 Ford Explorer Hybrid. The electrified V6 engine really jumps off the line, but it does lose a bit of punch when you get it on the highway. The 44 horsepower electric motor only provides about five to 10 kilometers of electric only range. That's not much. Behind the wheel though, it's super enjoyable to drive. There's very little noise or vibration that gets in the cabin. The steering is responsive and the 10 speed transmission shifts smoothly and effortlessly. The hybrid starts at 53,799 Canadian dollars. Obviously, one of the greatest things about choosing to purchase a hybrid vehicle is the saving that you will get at the pumps. Transport Canada rates this 2021 Explorer Hybrid to get 9.6 liters per 100K in combined city and highway driving. Unfortunately, the base gas model is only rated to get about 10.3 overall. I'm here with Andy and Richard. Andy has 17 years in the military, sorry, 17 years RCMP, 10 years with the military, and he's the owner, founder, and creator of Dragon Risk Management. Andy, what exactly is that? Uh, Dragon Risk Management is developed in 2020 in response to the growing uh, need for uh, small to medium-sized business to complete their uh, proper risk assessment, as well as a personal safety evaluations. Awesome. And then this weird guy standing behind me is Richard. And I got to be honest, Richard, I'm not 100% sure what you do, but I know it has something to do with firearms and weapons. I'm going to let you explain. Okay. Uh, when, yeah, when I was a kid, I was in the Army briefly and uh, have spent practically close to the last 20, 20 years uh, working with firearms and film, as well as uh, security, like Andy as well. <coughs> and uh, yeah, spending my time with guys like this learning nifty gun tricks nifty gun tricks well i am just here to learn some basics right now but these two guys are going to help me learn proper safe effective handling of firearms and ammunition as i go through and get my pal as i mentioned i shared with you guys earlier but i'm just going to touch on it so these guys know i was alone in my rv for about 13 months and i thought about getting a gun for my own safety but honestly the idea of it completely terrified me and now with the way of the world and things that are going on, I think the real way to own a firearm is to learn the proper handling, get the licensing and do it safety, safely and effectively. That's why I've got these guys here. Andy, why do you think we're seeing a lot more women getting their license and wanting to feel safe around firearms? I think it's just the, uh, the current political climate down in the US that uh, trigger a lot of people with the anxiety of wanting to have a skill set in need if something bad happened. 
Yeah, and I feel the exact same way. And I know Richard and I were talking a little bit about that too. Richard, what do you think is the reason that more women right now are wanting to own a firearm? It's a hundred percent that I think it's yeah. The current the the political climate is is forcing people to start doing what if scenarios in their head, and uh, you know they look at firearms and I think the first thing they should do is demystify firearms and and you know take a look at them and and they're less scary when you know more about them and you know once you understand safety and operation and all that stuff. I think that's the most important thing. And I think that's why I want to learn and be able to feel comfortable around it. Well, and that's why I'm doing this video. That's why I'm going to be documenting my experience. And I think I want to end this with specifically asking each of you, you guys know me personally, and you know a little bit more about my story and the fact that I want to get my pal and my reasons for it. So Andy, what can I count on you or what can I expect from you over the next couple of months and videos that we do that you're going to bring to the table for my audience and my journey learning? Um, in your video that's upcoming, um, your audience could expect the proper instructions for handle how to handle firearms in the fundamental way. So there are some basic um, skills that everybody should know. Uh, for instance, how to change your magazines, how to properly draw your weapons from the holster. If properly and safely, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. When I say properly, that incorporates safely in it because there's a lot of people who don't know what they're doing. And film. Yeah, and, 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 and it becomes a, becomes a safety issue at the range. So. Well, and you know, it's funny, Richard, when I think about what you do, mm -hmm. you're shooting blanks yep, blanks on are still... <laughs> no, right? Little, I've, I've blown up cameras on, on shows. You know, sometimes camera ops get brave and they want you to do insane things. And you're like, mm, I don't know about this, guys. Um, yeah. So I'm so going to ask you the same question then. You know my story. You guys are going to be working with me for the next little while while I document this and get my license. What exactly are you bringing to the table for my audience? Um, when all is said and done, I'm going to run you through a kill house. A kill house? Mm -hmm. What, it, what is it? Kill? <laughs> You'll find out. It's going to be hilarious. Okay, great. Yeah. So we're going to do proper, safely handling of ammunition, firearms, and a uh, kill house. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. Sounds, it sounds worse than it is. Don't worry. <laughs> this Ford Explorer has a shit ton of space in it. Um, how many guns do we actually have in here right now? Not that many. <laughs> no, we have more. Um, we could have more. Yeah. We could have more. So I, I'm really excited that we've got this Explorer because we've got all of us in here with the guns, the ammunition, and we're going to head out to the range and uh, have some fun.